Enlight is a platform for bringing all the European communities together involved in accelerator physics, detectors, in radiobiology, imaging and in radio oncology. Hadron therapy is an extremely advanced technique of radiotherapy. If you wanted an analogy, you could compare it to what Formula One represents to the automotive industry. The possibility to test highly sophisticated techniques, which can then be translated in a very proficient and useful manner into the clinical reality of radiotherapy. CNAO's goal is to treat about 20% of the patients with protons and 80% with carbon ions. The key point is that we will use carbon ions to irradiate specific types of tumors, which, until now, could not be optimally treated. Many of us that are involved in this field at Mayo and, and elsewhere in the United States and in, in the international community deal with very difficult um, oncological problems for which there aren't good solutions. The treatments that we have aren't as effective as we'd like them to be. And when they do work, they're often very toxic for patients. And so the physical properties of hadron therapy, both protons, carbon, and other ions, may allow us to deliver more effective treatment with reduced toxicity. It is estimated that it can be useful and can treat uh, around 10% of the total of cancer patients, which in Italy would mean uh, uh, about 30,000 patients per year. Our facility in Heidelberg is in clinical operation since 2009, so we are treating now for three years patients. All this uh, clinical operation is based on our previous experience where we treated for 12 years at a basic physics research facility with GSI in Darmstadt. What is very, very important, which we already have learned well from CERN, is that in order to successfully meet challenges, the idea of collaborating, discussing, brainstorming is a key point. It's my personal belief that the technology only has a worth in the medical community if it's spread, if there's basically access to the medical community, so everyone can basically gather experience and give a knowledge in this new technology. From the perspective of the United States, um, what's been done in Europe, I think, is a great example of the role of international scientific collaboration. Uh, and in particular, the role of Enlight uh, has been important in bringing together a wide variety of European centers uh, to collaborate on science prospectively. Now is time to start building on what we have been working for a long time and start showing that particle therapy has a place in the overall treatment of cancer. Our aim for the future is optimizing techniques for treating a larger number of patients since for the time being hard-on therapy is a relatively expensive modality compared to conventional radiation therapy. We need continued public support for working towards making cheaper and more compact machines. Mm -hmm.